Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a Flapper Girl inspired makeup tutorial and this is my entry video for the Next Face Awards, so let's get started. First thing I'm doing is taking my CoverGirl True Blend Foundation and then just dotting it all over my face and then blending it out with a stippling brush. I really wonder what products Flapper Girls used back in the 1920s to get such perfect skin. Then I'm going in with this Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer and I'm putting it under my eyes and on any blemishes that I might have. And I'm also blending it out with a damp makeup sponge just to give it a more natural appeal than if I used my finger. Then I'm taking the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium and I'm taking this e.l.f. Kabuki brush just to mattify my face. And then obviously we have to prime our eyes, so I'm using the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer in Sheer and dotting that on my eyelid and blending it up. In the 1920s, overdrawn eyebrows were really in, so I'm gonna take this Rimmel London pencil and eyebrow shade a little bit darker than mine and filling in my eyebrows. And then using a spoolie, I'm buffing out any lines. And then to make sure that the color and shape of our eyebrows stay in place, I'm using this e.l.f. Wet Lash Brow Gel on both of my eyebrows. The next product I'm using is a NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. What I'm doing with it is putting it on my inner corner and then blending it out, and this will help open up the eye since we're using such dark color. For the next part, you can use any black that you have. I'm using it from this e.l.f. 144 eyeshadow palette, and I'm taking this on this buffing brush from Urban Decay, and what I'm doing is I'm just buffing it into my crease. Make sure to leave the inner corner and the middle part of your eye clean. And don't forget the lower lash line. The entire key of a smoky eye is balance. Since the black wasn't intense enough that I wanted it to be, I'm going into my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and taking Dark Side, and I'm just putting it right over where I put it and making sure to blend up. From the same palette, I'm using Trick, which is a nice pretty gold color, and I'm using this on this Mary Kay crease brush, and I'm putting it where I kept clean earlier. And also, don't forget to highlight. Since my face is more round than it is rectangular, I'm using some bronzer to give myself some more sharp, angular features. So this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, and I'm just buffing it all over my skin. To help clean up some edges and cover up any fallout, I'm using the same concealer as before and just cleaning up and helping sharpen the eyelid. To clean up my lips, I'm using a cotton round since some foundation got on there and I'm using this lip balm from EOC. For the classic vintage red lip, I'm taking this Wet n Wild lipstick in hot red and applying it to my lips with a lip brush. Try and make your lips a little bit smaller than what they typically are, and don't forget to give yourself a sharp cupid's bow. Did we forget something on the eyes? All oh, right, mascara. So what I'm doing here is just obviously curling my lashes, and I'm taking this elf volumizing mascara, and I'm applying it to my lashes with several coats or layers, whatever you want to call it, just to give my eyelashes a more vintage look. For the classic 1920s look, what I'm doing is I'm taking a deeper plum color and laying it over the red color. To make my lipstick matte, what I'm doing is I'm taking a tissue paper and then some powder and I'm just putting the tissue paper over my mouth and then patting the powder over it. like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up to help me get into the first round of the NYX Face Awards 2014 makeup competition. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!